All right, welcome everybody and welcome to my next update about what happened in Dota 2 right now We're within the update. So the only thing that happened, unfortunately no heroes, which is for me the important things and actually the optimization of the game is right now important things because it doesn't work but uh, that's for a different topic <laughs> or different video. So only thing allowed today, actually yesterday, uh, is workshop and Dota 2 store. What it means, you, know, you can read the vlog, there's even uh, FAQ so you can read the blog and everything, you know, uh, get everything that you need to know. But what it means actually, you can customize your heroes. And we have four levels, which means a battle level, and we have battle points. You gain battle points playing games. Mostly winning games mean more battle points, obviously. So it's again statistics that it's not accurate, I would have to say. But whatever. It's, I don't give a shit actually about this that much. And by, you know, having battle points and battle levels, you will unlock free shit, free items for your hero. And the customization is like this. You choose a hero, in the future it will be every one of them. Right now there's only a few. It's, in, again, in the beginnings. So, let's say Sven. I want to customize my Sven. I unlocked free shit, so that, that's some sort of a bell, okay? I will unequip that, if I can. There we go, as you can see, he's without a bell. That's that's the default version of a Sven. Right now, if I have... I can do weapon, I can do head, I can do arm, I can do belt, I can do whatever I want. So the belt equipped, as you can see, he's got new belt. That's it. There's nothing, nothing to it. Uh, so you get free shit to your backpack by winning the games or get, getting, actually playing games. You can only, you can lose, but it's very much not that much battle points for you know losing a game. If you win game with 30 kills, you have a lot of battle points. Again, not really the real, <laughs> real statistic in a sense that like who's got 30 kills? Well, there has to be somebody who actually helped him to get 30 kills, right? And he will have less battle points than the guy with Laz hits. So, again, whatever. I don't care. Uh, another thing is Dota 2 store. So this is a free, but the, in the store, it's for money. And I live in Europe, of course, if we can... There we go. So it's in the Euros, and you can buy it, I guess, from a PayPal or your card, whatever. Um... I have to say that I won't buy a single item because I don't give a shit. I won't, you know, that's the thing. I like my money. I make money. I don't want to invest my money into this, you know what I mean? Like, buying games, okay, maybe even subscription if there's some online game, I'm all fine with that, but buying items to look better, not actually my taste. So whatever. People will buy definitely to look different and as you can see the prices are about one euro for most things. There's like two euros, that's fine. I would say that's not much money. And by the way, I wouldn't invest in this. I would buy rather a lunch than this, but uh, I guess people will buy it. I have to say, most of things are not being offensive, but I am actually like a paying customer, let's say. So, what people are providing f for me is pretty mediocre. Like, there's nothing special. Like, oh, I have to have it. No, like, a lot of it looks like not really good art. And it's fine, it's fine, it actually fits the game, most of it, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid that a lot of things will not fit the game. I can show you example, right away, if I can find it quickly. For example, the head on a tide. Pirate head on a tide with a skull. That's not the tide, I'm sorry. I'm okay with the shark, I'm okay with the octopus, I'm okay with that. Maybe even with this, whatever, and a turtle. <laughs> And maybe even this, this like a ancient type of a tide, okay, but not the head. That looks ridiculous. And it shouldn't be in a game. If I see tide with the pirate head in a game, I'm saying like, this hero has been now, you know, any lore behind him, anything else that you want to do with the heroes, maybe later on, like some, you know, much more... I'm not gonna say campaign, but if there's something like that, that that will break it, the hero, because fucking ho ho ho, that's a head, well, fuck you. <laughs> that will break the hero and the idea behind him, if there's any, which is not, so whatever. I have to say that this is actually fine, because it's beginning, so not many things are actually allowed yet. But this can get pretty ugly, and unfortunately, Valve, it looks like they want to give too much power to people, and that's always wrong, you cannot do that. People are stupid. They can be, you know, having good skills in art, but they don't understand how it will affect the game in the future. Which it will. And it's cosmetics, it won't affect your gameplay, you won't have anything like a plus, no, nothing like that. Only the cosmetics, how it looks. Even, I think, 
the hit points, meaning the you know the hitboxes, let's say of the hero, will be same. So Ricky will have same hitboxes. It won't be like he will be bigger. No, the hitboxes will be same, but the items will look different. So it doesn't matter like gameplay wise. But I really think that some things shouldn't be allowed, and I really think there should be like, like you know, right now if this would be of one person, let's say this created one person created this, which probably it did. So I would be like, okay, I'm voting for this person. It's nice. It's really high you know, high value of the art, I'd be like, okay, let's vote it and then we can actually sell it or he can sell it. But right now you can create whatever, get 100 people, which is not that hard actually, and say, oh, vote for my items and then maybe somebody will buy it and ruin your game. Like, if there's a pink fucking Arza or pink <laughs> whatever, then I'm, I, I just don't want to play the game, you know what I mean? I don't want to see that shit. It will be like, fuck you, you know what I mean? If I see it, I'm like, fuck you, dude. You just want to break the game, have a fun, uh, how it looks. Like, that's childish, and it shouldn't be. Like, look at the Traxxas, that's ridiculous. Who will have this in a game? I will, I will close my eyes if I'm, I'll be fighting the Traxxas. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's the thing. I don't think Valve should give too much power to people. I heard that Team Fortress 2 was a little bit destroyed, actually the visuals, the idea, the lore, you know, like, the feeling of the game has been destroyed. And I really think that can happen with Dota 2 very quickly, very quickly, if there's a too much shit, and people will buy crazy shit. If if people will see something yellow, or something pink, like pink axe, for example, they will buy it, just for the fact it will look funny, and ha ha ha. We'll have fun. We'll have fun with my friends, but other five players would be like, "Dude, I don't want to see this." You know what I mean? Like, I will support this idea, but I think they should just get real artists for this. I mean, people that have actually skills and understanding of a game, how it looks, how it should look in the future. Um, I don't think normal people can actually do it. Like they can, but they will fuck it up. I think so, at least. So, I think there's there will be too much power to, of a you know, to people, and that's not good. <laughs> you know, I I know because many online games, many fucking let, let's let's actually go for the BioWare and EA and their Knights of the Old Republic. Like BioWare just did everything what fans were you know asking for, and the game is nobody's playing the game anymore. It's a waste of project. It's a waste of so much money, and it won't get better. It won't. That's simply it for the game. And because you know they don't, they didn't want any grinding. They didn't want any, you know, traveling, anything like that. Well, the fans wanted it, but how many of them? You know what I mean? So we'll see. I, I support the idea definitely, but the thing is, it has to be controlled very much. Because I trust me, I don't want to see Traxxas looking like like this. I don't want to see this. And you know, this kind of shows me if this goes through. As you can see, the hair like that. Um, that some other things can go through, but there's even positive thing. Like really good art will be definitely nice to have to see in a game, so that's positive. And I'll be kind of supporting the positive thing with my videos. So if there's something that you think like is awesome, you are a good artist in the future, of course. Right now it's a big in the beginnings. It doesn't really matter, but in the future, if you, if you are a great artist. I, you can kind of contact me, say this is my item for that hero or items, the set of items. And I'd like to, you know, present it and if I like it, I'll make a video about it. Like this is good. People vote for it because this actually is related to Dota and that hero. I'll do it and you know I get some attention to it and we can vote it up and we can, you know, I get it to store so we can have and I'll be doing let's say week by week I'll be doing this, showing the new items that I support and I think they should be in a game. Maybe now like this you know, like the supporting the actually people that can do it, can kind of keep up with the style of the game. Uh, maybe we can kind of get the real <laughs> items that should be actually in in a game. That's it. Um, right now, I cannot actually show you or you know tell you how it will be. I think it will in some point of the time, at some point of the time, it will be fucked because there will be so much shit, and I think it will be should be limited somehow. Uh, maybe, you know, there should be only some customization week by week, so every week you can have something different, and not everything, you know, or and not, not everything. Um, we'll see. I think there should be limitation by, um, like, each hero should have, like, maybe, in the future, of course, I'm talking about, like, one, two sets. 
with you know of a same guy. Each week there should be like two sets for the axe. That's it. No more. Next week, next two sets. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I definitely support this idea, but I really think it should be controlled much more. I don't like the talks about we are giving the community so much things that they can do with it. I liked it. Dota's been about community. Um no. Uh <laughs> yes and no. You know what I mean? Like the changes implemented in Dota one they had you know nothing to do with the community. Like trust me, nobody was saying the Phoenix is too overpowered when he came. Okay, some people said it but they played him and they were happy. Ninety percent of people were happy. So it's not like we had any connection to what was happening that much, you know, most of us. And we didn't want to. Like let let's I am always for the like let's keep the developers working and don't interfere. Because if too many people interfere, it's too many ideas. And too many ideas means chaos. And this can happen. <laughs> we'll see. As I said, I'll be definitely supporting good items, good builds, good uh, teams for the heroes. Uh, and I'll be supporting that in the future with the videos, just showing off the uh, people. Maybe we can vote them up to be, you know, well, definitely if I make video, we can kind of, you know, vote it up very easily to the store, which is definitely nice. And trust me, I understand what should be there. I won't be voting any pink, power arzas, any hats. Um, I like the Executioner Axe. I like that style. I think so. It was somewhere in the second page, I think. Yeah, the hut for the axe. Uh, the exec Executioner Axe, maybe something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, that, that, that could work, definitely. I think that that's the style of axe, for example. Or Bloodseeker, let's say maybe some voodoo shit on him, you know what I mean, like a tribe thing, absolutely, that works. But no hat, you know what I mean, like, there should be some uh, some boundaries, which you can get to hero. Alright, so thanks for watching, I will be definitely informing you more and more, because this is more like a future project, not really right now project. And I'll be even informing you what I will get from my levels, or battle points, because I think it's random actually. Uh, in the end of the game, the first game, uh, every player got something, and I thought I got everything because it was like item, 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 item. But it was items for every each of one of them. I could actually watch what they got, what I got, and it was interesting. So it's random. So I'm gonna show you in the future what I got. You know what? Maybe I can even like transfer it somewhere. I would like that because I don't really care if somebody wants like something like a sword. I could actually give it to you because I don't care. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. So thanks for watching. This was my you know. Um, opinion if I can say that right now but definitely this is project for a future and I'll be definitely watching for you know other changes other projects meaning the item the builds the teams that will people will create so I'm for it but it has to be much more controlled hopefully I can little help with my videos uh, to vote up the good things you know to present and kind of push forward the good things that I think are actually related to game uh, not are not gonna you know break the game or the visuals of the game. So thanks for watching.